If you struggle with timekeeping, this is a tip that I learned when I studied privately with one of the greatest drummers in the world. He's a touring drummer that's played with amazing bands, some of the best bands in the world, in fact. And this is a very special tip that you do not want to miss. It is life-changing, though I will be honest, this one can take years to implement. But that's okay. It's worth it. You want to know it now. So a year from now, even six months from now, even two months from now, it can start to influence your timekeeping. So stick around and drum for Jesus. Timekeeping is one of the most important aspects of playing the drums. That's a non-negotiable. That's an essential. This is the idea of incorporating a fifth limb. Now, I'm going to share this with you, and most drummers' inclination is to change what I'm about to tell you, <laughs> to make it easier. Don't! <laughs> Do it as I'm actually going to tell you to do it. Okay, cool. I appreciate that. <laughs> I know I know you're going. I know you're going. All right, good. That's why I can share it with you because you're actually going to do it right. When you're playing, when you're practicing at home, count out loud. Count out loud. The quarter note. Or if it's a slow song, then the subdivision. One and two and three and four and right. This is the idea of incorporating a fifth limb, your mouth. And there's something that happens when you yourself are not only counting it out loud, but you're hearing yourself counting it and you're playing. It's this, it's it's a synergistic thing, right? It's not a metronome counting for you. It's not somebody else counting for you. It's not you counting inside where then you don't actually hear it. It's all of this combined. You're counting out loud. You're saying it, which means you have to physically say it. You're physically hearing it. And it brings everything together. Now, when you're doing, when you're playing your songs, when you're practicing your songs, you want to count out loud. When you're playing on your own with a metronome, you want to count out loud. And what this leads to is such freedom. Freedom, guys. I'm talking, I'll show you, I'll demonstrate what kind of freedom. I'm telling you, it takes practice. It is difficult at first to go to do something like that. So the goal is to be able to count out loud and really be able to play whatever you want underneath it. Now this takes a lot of time, experience, practice, and you have to build up over time, but ideally this is what it starts to look like after you've put in some, some serious work into it. One, two, three. you can see the application when you're playing a groove. Just keep you locked in, right? You're not going to be rushing or dragging those fills when you're counting out loud. 
Now, when you go live, you want to count internally, okay? And you do want, even to this day, I count internally when I play live. I've been playing drums for 30 years, and I count internally when I play live because it grounds everything. It also lets me realize more easily when other musicians are pushing and pulling on me, especially if we're not all playing to a click or I'm not playing to a click live, and I can just lock into my inner metronome. But you don't want to just use the inner metronome when you're at home practicing. You actually want to count out loud because it is more uncomfortable because of everything we've already discussed. So, how to start with this? Easy peasy. trying to demonstrate there. See what you can do. See what you do. Can you go one, two, three, four? Cool. Can you leave out the downbeats? One, That's every third, sixteenth note. It's every third, sixteenth note. Without the ghost notes in between. So I challenge you now, go put on your favorite worship song or the song that you're working on for this upcoming week and try to count out loud the whole way through. While playing the beats that you need to play and while playing the fills that you need to play. And start getting comfortable. God bless you all in Jesus' name. It's been an honor and a pleasure. I will see you next week with another essential tip. Don't miss it. Like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on the week-by-week -week lessons that will be coming out in the near future. Thank you. And as always, drum for Jesus. <laughs>